Let's do this. Hold on tight, it's gonna get pretty bumpy. And we're back with the Nerve Crew at Circuit de San Croissant. A lovely track with some lovely cars today. The lovely Mazda MX-5s for the Nerve Crew MX-5 Cup. And I got a question for you. Are you ready for this action? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be intense. Heck, this sounds like a message some girl sent me the other day, but I can't see her because of COVID. But that's not what we're talking about today because the race is about to get underway. This week gets a good start, a bit of tire smoke, but in the background, Stratocaster, all the way from fifth position, already up into third. A great start by Stratocaster. Gauslim Uda keeps his first place. TX2 Ash in second. He takes a TX2 Ash, is taking a wide line. Gauslim Uda was a bit defensive into T1. He's gonna get out of T1 very slowly and you already see TX3 has already beside him and Stratocaster is continuing his search for fifth place and he's saying I'm not done yet because he's also attacking TX3 has on the outside Stratocaster goes Stratocaster up into the lead what a start by Stratocaster from fifth all the way to first within four corners great stuff man Clap hands for you, man. Nothing like an amazing star. But you know it's not over yet because TX3 has to come like, hey, man, it's definitely not over. There's a reason I qualified in second. And meanwhile, at the back, we're on board with Intruder. But best believe Intruder is not going to be finishing there because Intruder, if he has started up near the top of the pack, has fast pace. He's doing 222s out here. So Intruder has race winning pace. So you best believe he ain't finishing in 16th place. As you look at this gaggle of cars, look at them all together, man. All together, like friends, as we get across the bridge. Woo! Some guys trying to make some adventurous moves. It's Datacaster in the lead as we are about to get onto the back straight. This is a back straight, people. I don't care if there's a small little corner. It's a back straight to me. Datacaster gets a good exit, but no matter how good an exit he gets, TX3 is going to have a bunch of slipstream. And this looks like there's a gap between... Stratocaster TX3 and then Gauslim Uda, the Swede who started in pole position, has a long train right behind him. Look at him, man. Look at him, man. I, man, I wish I was in this race, man. I'm jealous of you guys, man. Ah, oh, what a shame. But anyway, at the front, TX3 hash are trying to attack Stratocaster on the inside. Gets the nice new X move up into first place. These guys are gonna be at it all race. I can tell. Oh my goodness, the pole center makes a mistake and he hits Mark Pritson. He hits Britas! Oh no! Poor Mark Pritson! By no fault of his own, gets clashed into, but that's what happens, it's racing. But whatever you do, Britas, Britas, you keep racing. You don't give up because the recovery trip is real. You already know the deal. And look at this close tight action, man. I am going to be saying it all throughout the race close tight action because everybody is together, man. Who's gonna get the best of the rest? Because TX3 has. And Stratocaster have left these guys for dead. It's, this race is way too short for Eddie Jordan to try to catch these guys up. So Eddie Jordan needs to concentrate on just keeping his third position. And this, we're on, we see Stratocaster once again getting a good exit out of T1. 
and he's getting a bit of slip stream. That's not gonna harm him as he takes again. He's taking a wide line. TXT has defense star Kata says, uh uh, I wasn't going for the outside this time. I'm going for the X. I'm throwing up an X right now. If you could see me right now, you could see I'm throwing up an X like DJ an X out here. But Tarakaster grabs the lead, but he doesn't have the best line for the next corner because he's on the outside. TXP takes his line and he takes back his first place by virtue of placing his car in the right place as we hit the bridge again. Oh, look at that line Tarakaster took. Oh, oh, Nitro 75 is fighting him, man. My goodness. He's going to have a trash exit onto the bridge. And he might impact Lucky as well. Lucky might have had to break a bit earlier and get out the bridge onto the bridge in a messed up fashion. Because Dennis Shushu goes up from 8th up into 6th by virtue of Nitro sliding around and Lucky having to blend out the throttle a bit. Dennis Shushu gets 2 for the price of 1. Once I can across the bridge on this second lap, Dennis Shushu is starting in 14th position, guys. So if someone wants to get drive out of the race, they're going to have to do much better than what Dimitri is doing right now. Because if Dimitri keeps on going up there, Dimitri is going to get drive out of the race. I'm just letting you know. Meanwhile, at the front, TXT, Ash, and Starcast are still together. And I love the fact these guys are not being way too rough. They're fighting in a way to where they can still maintain very fast pace without penalizing. So they, they still maintain the gap to Eddie Jordan, who is now being hounded by Silveris. And Rafaqua is in this battle for third place. A lovely looking Vimto livery by Eddie Jordan. It's a shame we don't do the livery of the race award anymore because the director said it makes the videos too long. My goodness, it looks like Rafaqua gets hit by Pipe Sue Ferris. Sue Ferris went on the gravel. He did exactly what the Swede did on the previous lap. And Sue Ferris is also another one who has some serious pace. What a shame. He is now down into 16th place. But whatever you do, Sue Ferris, you keep on racing. You keep on going, damn it, just like Pridas, because Pridas is now up into 15th place. You keep rolling with it, man. You don't quit. You learn more from your losses than you do from your Ws. And speaking of trying to get this W, TX3 out here trying to line up Starcaster. He gets the fastest lap as he's on the inside. Both these guys doing 223s out here. As we hit T1, let's see who gets the better X once again. Starcaster is getting amazing exits out of T1. This is amazing stuff. It's been so consistent. When we are on the penultimate lap, guys, just in case you're not really keeping track of it, this action gets so 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 heavy so quickly. It's it's tough to keep a track of it. Speaking of keeping a track of things, Dingushushu all the way from 14th into third place. It is a lock. Dingushushu dive off the race. When I give up the award, it's going to you. Just make sure you stay in third position and you will be out. But Eddie Jordan is like, no, I am trying to get this third position for Vim to out here. I ain't got no time for you factory guys out here trying to come out here and bully us. And Dingushushu is now the only factory supported car because Mr. Bunka lost his sponsorship and TFGP also lost his sponsorship from Philip Morris. So there's only one factory car now. Ah, my goodness. What, what a shame. So, actually, no, not a shame because Mr. Bunka and TFGP are busy fighting too much. He wasn't helping the factory. But, oh my goodness, look at that. Is that Bewitty? Bewitty, Bewitty, man. Whew! The livery on your MX-5 is sexy, that Lotus. Oh, oh! If we were doing livery off the race, I know I'd said, Oh, no! Commentator's curse! I'm so sorry, Bewitty. I was just looking at your lovely livery. You were looking so good. But, even though we don't do the livery off the race award anymore, you get livery off the race. Eddie Jordan comes in a close second because that Lotus livery on Bewitty's car looks sexy. But meanwhile, at the front, we got Stratocaster and TX3 still going at it. This race is far from over, even though we've only got one more lap to go after we cross the line. It's going to be a shame to see it end side by side. Who's going to get the better exit? Whew. It looks like TX3 gets the better exit. And I don't know how TX3 is doing it with opposite rake on his car. I think I've been missing something. Oh my goodness, Rafa Agua. Rafaqua, the, the guy who was fighting for third place with Ding Shushu and Eddie Jordan has lost it. And now the battle for third has gone down from three cars to two cars. Ding Shushu, Eddie Jordan, independent Vimto team versus the full support of the Masters factory with Ding Shushu in the Master Speed MX5. We hit the final corner for the penultimate time as we are about to cross the flying onto the final lap. TX3 in the lead. And why do I have my hands on my head like something stressful happened? This is just some action that, that's having me overwhelmed. I had my hands on my head. If only you could see me, man. If only you could see me. But I ain't looking too good right now.
right now, so I ain't gonna be a gala for a while. TX3 in the lead, and if that starter has to get the good exit again from T1 and didn't shoot you up into third, You're giving Eddie John a run for his money, but Eddie John is gonna get a better exit. Who's gonna get keep this? Oh, yes, didn't shoot got a much better exit. So I thought Eddie John was gonna try go again on the inside as you see the action for sixth place. Lucky Nitro goes broader, and we got Intruder who came all the way up from 16th. Fighting these guys, man. It's amazing stuff. Ghost Broda goes up a bit wide and he's now losing the position to Nitro. Nitro up into seventh place. Lucky has a bit of a gap now, so inside we cross the bridge for the last time. TX3 with this opposite range. I bet you if you go on board with TX3, you can't even see the horizon because that's how far up his car's facing. It's so an on board with Tratacaster who's trying to mount up an attack. I don't think he's going for it. He's just trying to penalize TX3 so he doesn't take the best and give him the best advantage of staying close to him as we get onto the back straight. Tratacaster pressuring the hell out of, out of TX3 has. Who's gonna get this W? Who is it? TX3, Tratacaster. I don't know. Whoever gets it deserves it. That's all I know. Sorry, I can't help myself. And it looks like Eddie John once again up into third position. This is not over yet because Dinesh is just gonna have some slip slip. TFGP is out in fifth place by himself. Ghost Pro now up into sixth. My goodness, the battle for six keep, keeps changing. Nitro was in sixth, then it was Lucky in sixth. Now it's Ghost Broder. Ghost Pro looks to have it under control, but at the, at the battle for third, Dinesh is up into third place again. But I don't think he's gonna get a good exit because. Eddie Jordan is going to be right beside him for the next corner. Can Eddie Jordan make it work? Yes. Yes, can he? I think he can. On the inside. Amazing stuff. Hold on, guys. Don't make a phone call. Hello. Um, hi. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for TX3 and uh, Stratocaster. They, they're not here. What? They checked out the hotel? TX3 and Stratocaster to check out the hotel as TX3 gets this W. And Stratocaster becomes a two-time entry into the checkout crew along with TX3 his first time. Good stuff. As Dingusha breaks the heart of Eddie Jordan at the line. And with Ghost Broder gets sixth place. Nitro seventh. Lucky eighth. Intruder into ninth. And winners, Mark Pitson at the recovery of a lifetime into tenth. Let's get into these awards. The driver of the race goes to Dingusha He started in 14th and he was being very patient he wasn't pushing too hard people made mistakes and he avoided them up into 11th place but he kept on going and going and when Nitro and Lucky were fighting he said hey man I don't have time for this I'm out of here two for the price of one and he kept on going more people made mistakes he goes past he keeps on going he just keep rolling with it and then she went on to finish third by a whisker, by breaking Eddie Jordan's heart. Oh my goodness, some amazing intense action out here. An amazing award for Dimitri Shushu. He deserves it. And fastest level of the race goes to TFGP, the guy who lost his factory support out here getting a 2.22.544. He had race winning pace, shame of his starting position. Recovery trip off the race goes to Mark Britson, aka Bears. He got clouded into by the sweep. Was it plum last? And he was like, nah, he didn't even have time to rage out. He just kept it moving. He's like, nah, immediately, I'm going to start making my way through this pack because I know I have good pace. And you know the deal. The recovery trip is real. And Bridas, aka Mark Britson, so went on to finish 10th place after being plum last and look at how happy he is he slides this car does a little spinning overtake of the race goes to intruder ma100 gets a great exit out of the bridge and he out there he gets some slipstream from nitro goes in the middle of nitro and goes broader gets some more slipstream from lucky he keeps it moving it's not done yet intruder is overtaking everybody as we get to the end of the bridge they hit the brakes he gets past goes broader he gets past lucky he gets three for the price of one intruder overtake of the race but anyway you guys know the deal now we represent him all day, every day, 247. Peace out.